What's up guys? So got another update for you. So the very first thing you're noticing, boom, the home location has changed. This is the new home location. If we hit home location, I actually no clue if this is my home or if DZ was my home. Yeah, this is my home. Uh, yeah. It's a lot smaller, a lot easier. Should be a lot more new player friendly. I think it's all pretty self-explanatory. There's not a whole lot of extra random things that don't have any purpose whatsoever. Another thing that was changed with home is a lot of the shops now have updated options. For example, it now says general, implying that that would be the general store. Hunter, implying that would be the hunter store. Food, uh, it's on the similar vein as these three. They had multiple options, so it made the most sense to sort of do that. But I decided to do the same thing for every other person. So, you know, before it would just say traits. You're like, who the hell is Lilo? Let me go see what they have. Now you at least can sense that it's herblore related and then farmer. I'm kind of testing these because at some points they didn't work and I made them all work but then they didn't work again and uh, yeah if you notice any issues with that let me know because um, it's coded based on their their options so before it was trade now it's you know different for each one so if you notice any random ones that don't work in other locations just let me know where on the top of the GE lit true that true that see we'll be down there um, uh, so yeah, let me just let me just get the update list. All right, so uh, diamond donators, which is two hundred and fifty dollars spent, will now automatically pick up cash caskets. So that's a nice fun one. People have been asking about a ring or something. It's just now a free perk that all two hundred fifty plus donators get. Uh, Corporeal Beast is now a mass boss. Everyone who does damage will get loot. It is now. It also drops the group loot chest. Uh, the chance of getting the sigils has been slightly reduced. Uh, remove some of the junk stuff that no one would ever loot, like the mystic and stuff like that. And then I uh, cleaned up a couple of the loots, like the tuna potato is now noted. Uh, I think the leak clue scroll is more common than it was as well as some other stuff. I can't recall what else was done. Um, the Divine Sigil now yells as well. That is That has been fixed. Kirill Sutsarth, the uh, Zami God Wars boss. It's, uh, its special attacks are now less likely to occur. I felt like it, it specced way too often. It was essentially just a random number generator, one in five. And that's, I mean, I don't know how it works in, in the actual runescape, but I thought it had like a 10 second spacer between when it could do it. Like I thought it was like, at least for 10 seconds, you wouldn't have it happen again. But maybe I'm wrong. Either way, I felt like it happened way too much, and it just kind of encouraged people to cheat. And you know, I don't want to. I don't want to punish people who are doing it legit. So I figured I'd clean it up a little bit, and uh, we'll see how it goes. I think more people are going to be wanting to do Zami uh, now that Corporal Beast is a mass boss. So you know, again, we'll see. The uh, it's going to be kind of annoying how tall that is. I imagine people are going to click that a million times, like I do. But we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Uh, the thieving stalls are up here are now all all five of them, including the spice stall, which isn't here because there was only enough room for five. Uh, they all now give a lot more cash when you thieve from them, so it should be a decent way to get some starting cash as a new player. Thieving is kind of always the go-to for new players, so it made more sense to have this as a better cash means. Probably could do with, I don't know, either speeding up the timers or maybe just not having one at all. It is kind of nice that, you know, it's it's realistic to old school but at the same time uh, you, know, you know we'll see we'll see that's not really important now so the bounty hunter teleport scroll is added to the the, the blood money shop which is an edge if you know i've seen it top two uh, i had to go through an unnecessary amount of effort to change the top two to a trade option that's why i haven't done it yet just lazy and i have to uh, yeah bounty hunter teleport scroll boom so keep in mind uh, when I there's I can't remember it's somewhere in your settings, but there's there's a way to turn off the bounty hunter thingy, which most people do, myself included, because I don't pretend to plan to participate. Keep in mind now that that, that thing is active, people people might uh, yeah people might uh, teleport to you. So just keep that in mind. In the wilderness, it is now easy to teleport to someone if they are your target and vice versa. A new dark equipment piece has been added. I was going to go to in west because that's where the donator store would be, but now it's here. Boom. Uh, prototype cloak is now in there, and it is used to make the shadow silk cloak, which is a dark equipment piece. It is also obtained from group loot chests, so really trying to encourage you nerds to do some more mass bosses. Um, and I've been reading the, dis the suggestion section and the discords and, the and everything, I, so I've, I've read you guys' debate. Um, you're not being ignored. A lot of your points are good points, and a lot of things will definitely be considered. 
Um, as I mentioned in one of my last videos, the one with the survey, that we got a sort of rough plan, and that's still what we're going to do. We're going to stick with that rough plan. The first step of that was changing the home location. We're really trying to make things better for new players, and this was one of the first starts was just making it crisp, clean, and simple. Um, and, and a lot of the, the next couple of updates will all be sort of in that same vein. Double adventure points has been enabled. I don't... Well, I guess we're going to find... I, um, I don't think that that works, but I could be wrong. I'm pretty sure that don't work, so I don't know what the hell is going to happen from that. Uh, anyways, let's just move along real quick. Uh, you can now exchange your extra legendary companion. Let me just buy uh, one, a uh, couple, real quick. Bow, bow, bow. Uh, okay, that's plenty, but that, that works. So you can now exchange your extra legendary companions at Artie Zoo. I should have just made a colon colon zoo command. I was going to do that, but then I didn't do it. And that would have been nice for, for everybody. Everybody would have been that. So yeah, come over here. Uh, you get 50% of the donator points back. So, for example, the Goblin Banker costs 40 donator points. You're going to get 20 points back. You'll also notice it only takes one. I decided not to make it take all of them in your inventory just just to eliminate the possibility that you might accidentally, I don't know, get rid of both of them. Like, I don't know, you forgot to take one or you accidentally picked it up at the last second. I don't know. That's been a, a thing that I'm a little concerned about, people accidentally turning in too much stuff. So I figure how many of these extra are you really going to get? Um, you can get them from Uber boxes and stuff like that. So a couple people have occasionally gotten an extra one. They, they purchased one and then ended up getting one from a box or something like that. So now you can trade it in and get uh, some of your extra points back. And then um, in the future, I will add an option to trade all the uh, the cosmetic mystery, pet, mystery crate ones. I'm thinking about some some way, not probably not like a, a, a just a straight up exchange. Like you can just get an infinite re-roll of your pet, but something something to give you. You know, I don't know if it's the exact same donated points back or a mystery box, something like that. Some sort of thing for extra pets. But uh, that was just a lot of work that I didn't want to do right now. The Jira Jira Jira. I'm not really sure how you pronounce that dude's name. It's not it's not a custom name. That's just the dude's name. Uh, he, uh, he can now heal your prayer. I decided to do that just because the prayer altar is all the way over there now. And I didn't want people to have to, like, uh, whine about that. So I figured I'd just make him heal prayer. And then to give the Mercy a lot more of, uh, at least a better benefit than him, I made Mercy restore your stats. So now the only advantage that the, uh, the pools in your house have is the restoring of the spec. Which will eventually be gone anyways, because I'm sure we'll, we'll have special restore potions at some point. I've been, I've been workshopping those, but... Uh, yeah, I just, I don't know, just some things you kind of have to accept, like having a really nice NPC that heals you quickly is, is kind of Private Server 101, and, you know, figured uh, I would improve him a little bit. Uh, you can now exchange caskets with Watson. Before, it was only Clue Scrolls. You can now exchange caskets, all four caskets, plus, uh, well, all four caskets would equal the Master Casket. It also just auto completes the master. Uh, in in like a normal game where masters were like challenging, that would be overpowered. But the masters are just normal clues with extra steps, and that seemed pointless to make people have to do that. Especially since ninety five percent of the people that play the server have the treasure schematic thing, and they're just gonna instantly complete it anyways. So then the last thing, which I don't even recall, <laughs> I hope I didn't test this. I did not test this, and I should have. Uh, the last thing is you can now use this altar to bury bones on. Yes, cool. Cool. Is that the same amount of XP? It is. Okay, so it's the same amount of XP. It's supposed to give... I... Okay, it works, but it doesn't work the way I... I whatever, fuck you. Uh, it works, but it does, it's supposed to give more XP than what it does. I understand why. I just... I, I should have tested it. That's, that's my bad. What's he got? His, his boots are fucked up. Those like... Now he's got pagations on. Is it a cape? It's uh, you know what? It's probably his. His. It's probably being a girl. I don't. Girl models are all fucked up. Don't be a girl. Be a, be a man. Be a strong man. All right. I don't know where this video's going. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.